Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. We're going to do your general love read for the week of November 13th through the 20th. Keep in mind these are general reads so they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. If you need a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. As always, we do love reads on Wednesday because we work with the energy of the goddess Venus. The goddess Venus deals with energies pertaining to love, beauty, finance, and health. So if you need to do any rituals, prayers, and meditations regarding any of those topics, Wednesdays would be the absolute positive day to do so. Also, keep in mind, I am an intuitive reader. So even though I will read the traditional sense of the card, I'm picking up energies intuitively more than anything, okay? As always, we charge both decks with our crystal organite pucks and your personalized astrological sign card. So again, we're doing the reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people. Hope everybody's doing well. Yesterday, we had a full moon. And the day before, that was the 11-11 energy portal. So this weekend was busy and full of energy. So I hope everybody's doing well coming down from it. Also, always keep in mind, you know, with full moons, you pick up energy, especially if you're an empath and you're energy sensitive, you pick up the energies three days, before, during, and after the full moon. So, you know, for the next two days, you could be picking up the energies of the full moon. And that full moon was in the sign of Taurus, okay? So, I hope everybody is friend well regarding those energies. Um, Before I started to, before I started the reading, I meditated and I seen cherubs. And if you don't know what cherubs are, those, those, those cute little fat baby angels. And those cherubs always make me, I don't know the exact meaning, their exact purpose, but every time I see them, I think of love, like Cupid. You know, it's not Cupid, but I always think about love. But the fact that they're like little baby angels, I'm picking up that it's new love. So you guys could be possibly embarking on a new journey with someone new. So we'll see how that ties into your reading today, okay? Let's see what we get for our Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people. Yeah, and I seen it, and it, it looked like a stone figure. And I don't know, maybe you could have that in your house, like a little stone figure of the cherubs. I hope I'm saying it right. Either that or you or the person could have it, or you might meet a person at a place that has that statue or figure somewhere in the establishment. Keep an eye open for it, okay? Or, it could, you know, overall, it could just be a message. Okay, so let's get one general card. I do one card in case I didn't say it. One card for the general energy and then a second card for a possible outcome and then I clarify both. Okay, you got the two of pentacles upright. Let's get a possible outcome for our two of pentacles upright. Possible outcome. It's a lot of, with most of the reasons that I've done so far, it feels like the energy is just kind of heavy, but not in a negative way. It feels heavy like it's so much to be said. You know, like I said, we had this 11-11 portal, and then that very next day we had a full moon. So it's a lot of energy. Ooh, look at that. And that's it. A lot of energy. Okay. King of Wands, upright. So Gemini, Lib uh, I want to say Libra. You guys could be dealing with Libra. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So far, we have Earth sign on the table, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and then we have Fire sign, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. So far, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, people you could be involved with. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Hmm, interesting. Because I'm, I'm being drawn to the fact that I said, you know, the cherubs, there are two little baby angels, and then you got him balancing two pentacles. So there may be two love offers. But I feel like someone is more you're more interested in one person, either more interested or more passionate, because that's the king of wands. And that's passion, fire, right? <laughs> he, he got a torch. He got on the end of his wand, he has fire. It's somebody that you're feeling more passionate. If you're dealing with two people, it's somebody that you feel more passionate about. And it may be a fire sign, because that's your possible outcome. If you had two decisions, and I do feel like there's two people of interest, right and the possible outcome being the king of wands i feel like it's a fire sign that you're more interested in okay too it's interesting okay too many popped out but you have the three of wands another fire sign card so you definitely could be choosing a fire sign over any over the other option i'm not gonna pick it because too many came out i only want one card look this one wants to hop 
Ace of Cups in reverse for your Two of Pentacles. Ooh, these is fun. <laughs> and then you got the King of Wands again. Yep. You guys are crushing on a fire sign. You see how quick that just popped out? That popped out very quick. It wasn't even in any questions about it. Okay, so let's go to the beginning. Your general energy is the Two of Pentacles. Like I said initially, I feel like you guys are interested in two people. But with your possible outcome being the King of Pentacles, I feel like it's a fire sign. And it's most definitely a fire sign because clarifying your King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, this, yeah, this King of Wands, this fire sign could be good with money because I want to say King of Pentacles. Um, to clarify your King of Wands, you got the King of Wands again in a completely different deck, right? You guys are interested in the fire sign. But what's interesting is, like I said, your initial energy is the Two of Pentacles. And your clarifying card is the Ace of Cups in reverse. I'm going to turn it upright so that you can see the imagery of it. Um, You may have had... I'm feeling like you have some history with this fire sign. And I feel like that because your cups is coming up in reverse. So it's either A, you may have been juggling two people. Or this fire sign may have been juggling you and somebody else. Because there's no question about it. You, you, This is definitely a fire sign. Definitely. Definitely a fire sign. And somebody that you have great respect and love for because it's coming up as a king. You have a lot of respect for this fire sign. But I feel like this fire sign was juggling you and another person. And that's why this Ace of Cups is in reverse. Because you know the Ace of Cups is about a love offer. A very powerful love offer. An overflowing of love energy. And... It's interesting because even though there's one bird, as I was just looking at it, you know, I've seen the two cherubs that I was telling you about. Those two separate wings. Well, okay, of course, birds have two wings. But for some reason, visually, I was picking up like little angel wings. But it, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it because, like I said, I'm intuitive. So the way I was seeing it was like two. Like it was, I seen the birds splitting in two. That's interesting. You could be dealing with someone who has an initial W or M in their name somewhere. And I say M because, again, it came up in reverse. But I... Mm, what I'm picking up from this, okay, because, again, it came up in reverse. This is how it looks upright. They're giving somebody an offer. And it's going to be an overflowing of emotions, okay? But in reverse, look how that is. It's almost like... They're holding this offer to themselves. Or you could be holding the offer or emotions. Okay, that's what I'm picking up intuitive. You're holding this to yourself. Because initially you felt like your ships have sailed. You have that ship in the background. Your ships have sailed with you and this person. But if you pay attention in the background, you have a full moon back there. And like I just said, yesterday we had a full moon in Taurus. So yesterday some things may have come to light between you and this fire sign. And I say that because, again, you have this rainbow here, but look at the brightest part of it is right by this full moon. Something may have come to light with you regarding this um, fire sign person. <laughs> and it's funny because if you look at the card, he's looking over. Like, what is he looking at? And look at this one. You know, they both are looking over as if either A, they're suspect of something, or B, they're trying to study you. You, you would know how that applies because you know this person. This person isn't somebody new to you. I know that. Because like I said, this person is coming up as a king. And you put them in this position of kingship. You, you look at this person as a king. You look at this person as somebody that you have high regards and respect for. And, you know, again, you got to kind of... It's not a... I, I don't feel like this is a full... I don't feel like this is a moon. But based off the fact that we have the moon in this card, I feel like... This just recently happened where you kind of picked up some type of energy about this person. Or this person is picking up some energy about you. I feel like for some reason I'm picking up that this person is kind of questioning you. Yeah, this person is questioning you. It's something that happened between you two that this person is questioning you. And, and maybe that's why this person was juggling all along because they didn't know if you two would be a good match together. And again, always keep in mind, it could be vice versa. But the fact that the king is looking like this, I feel like it's, this king is questioning you. He has some questions about you. He's studying you, this king. And he's not sure whether or not you guys can grow. And I know that because Juan has the little buds right here, growth. 
I feel like it's going to go. This is interesting because I'm also looking. Okay. So you see like it looks like a lizard here and then you have lions here. And then you see how the body is in a circle. And it looks like you got. These look like little lizards too. But look how they look. They almost look like little planets. It could be possible within the next moon cycle. Yeah. Okay. I'm picking up intuitively. Next moon cycle some type of answer or some type of clarity will come about this relationship or situation with you and this fire sign because this person is he's weighing his options and it it deals with emotions very strongly because you got the water here overflowing of water here and then you got the water in the background either this ship is going to sail and go away from you or this ship is coming towards you this person isn't sure definitely yeah because you got the juggling here and then you got this king looking over into the distance like he's studying something. And this this king is really looking like he's studying you. He's studying something from afar. I don't feel like it's another person. I feel like this person is studying you. And he looks very defensive in a sense. Almost like he's he has a lot of questions. And it's interesting that I'm noticing, like, look at how his... Yeah, this person is questioning this union. Because he's sitting on his throne, right? But it's not on the ground. This person is floating in the air. Because if you look in the background, there's trees behind him, underneath him. His feet isn't even on solid ground. Right here, this king's feet is on solid ground. But this, you know, I'm being drawn to this. This person has passion for you. This person is attracted to you. This mutual passion or attraction. But it's something going on where this king, this person, this fire sign that you're dealing with is questioning the union relationship between you two and when i say union it doesn't have to be a relationship like a couplehood it could be you know you guys could be friends but they may have wanted to at one point they were thinking about taking it further but they're questioning that for some reason also keep in mind like i said i keep seeing i want to say these are lizards you got so many lizards in these pictures so you might want to look up lizard spirit animal and see how that applies to your situation because i feel like that's going to tie into this reading okay so, okay, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people, as always, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And if you need a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Until next time, take care. Bye.